Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to my channel. I am nice and snug this morning as you can see. I'm just about to go for my morning stroll with Oscar and Pabs. I'm not gonna lie guys, I have been slightly neglecting my walks in the morning as of recently simply because I didn't really have a step goal. Like I wasn't trying to increase my steps for any reason but now that I'm like sort of starting prep, I say sort of because I'm not officially starting until 16 weeks out which is next week. But you know me guys, I just got too excited. My coach sent over my plans and I just didn't want to wait. So I'm starting to try implement the habits now so that it won't be like a difficult transition but basically the reason I'm back on my morning strolls in the cold is because my step goal is back. I'm starting at 9,000 steps a day which isn't too bad to be honest guys. Normally I'd probably hit around seven or 8,000 when I'm not really trying and I'm already feeling the benefits of like getting out for my walks again. Whatever about the steps it's just for my head. Normally myself and Gary go together. Uh, Gary isn't with me this morning because he has a really busy morning with work so he's going to be doing his steps later which I'm kind of sad about not going to lie I always look forward to our morning walk together when I didn't have a step goal I always made different excuses as to why I didn't need to go for a walk like I'm too busy I'm too tired I didn't want to go out in the cold whereas now that I sort of have to do it I actually really enjoy it and I missed it it's about four degrees this morning so it's a bit of a chilly one so I'm well wrapped up I normally try get around three or four thousand steps in in the morning and and then as the day goes on when I'm just going about my daily tasks I normally tot up the rest of my steps. I haven't eaten or drank anything yet and I'm kind of craving my morning cup of tea but I like to keep it for after my walk to warm me up. But I have two very impatient puppies in the car right now so we better get going. So this is a dog park where we go on our morning stroll normally. As you can see Pabs is living his best life and Oscar is around here somewhere as well. But in this park I love coming here because you can actually leave the dogs off the lead and it's fully enclosed as you can see so they have an extra bit of freedom the only thing about this place is that it is quite mucky in parts but i get over it if the dogs enjoy it honestly guys this is kind of embarrassing but i'm like kind of out of breath like i'm not even going to lie my cardiovascular health and like my fitness levels right now are so poor because I haven't been focusing on it at all. I literally can't remember the last time I did cardio or even like touched off a cardio machine because that obviously wasn't my goal. I've just been focusing on like growing, but I am out of breath. I am fully out of breath after one lap of this park. So there's a lot of work to be done here. Myself and Gary did like one lap of the other dog park yesterday and Gary got a stitch. Like he was fully bent over with a stitch once we got to the uphill part of the walk. And I was like, Gary, this is so embarrassing. But I'm hoping towards the end of prep, I'll be doing laps of this place and it won't be as out of breath as what I am now. Okay guys, I just did a quick pit stop in Aldi on the way back from my walk. So I'll show you what I got. So as our like protein and meat sources, we just topped up on 50% less fat bacon medallions, which are really, really good. The macros are actually very good on those. Gary likes diced steak and we got beef mince for both of us and of course we got our little quark yogurts so Gary is more of a strawberry fan whereas I always go for the raspberry personally we also got some microwavable rice sometimes we do go for like the packet rice that you cook but a lot of the time when me and Gary are making meals these only take like 90 seconds or two minutes or something to make and it's so handy because you just fry up your meat in the air fryer Put this in the microwave and you have a meal ready in literally like 10 or 15 minutes. I got some corn flakes, of course, my favorite cereal. And I also got some corn cakes. As you know, I eat these literally every day. So anything like corn, I actually love. And they always digest really well with me as well. So corn flakes, corn cakes, you know the deal. We got some fruit and grain bars. Not for any particular reason, to be honest. We both just really like them. The macros aren't even that great, but we both enjoy them. And they're low calorie little snacks just for while we're working. Um, we have some fruit and I also picked up some tuna for Oscar and Pabs because the odd time I like mixing in tuna with their nuts and I always make sure to get the one that's already drained and um, I avoid the one in brine because too much salt is not good for a dog so try to get the drained versions or like the less salty versions if you're going to be getting tuna or meats for your dogs I never really got the hype with this cereal but Gary absolutely loves it so I just picked that one up for him but that's what I just picked up there we do have foods in the fridge and in the cupboard at the moment but I just wanted a quick top up so I just changed into one of my cozy hoodies and I'm 
finally having my first cuppa of the day. So I actually opted for a cup of coffee instead of tea this morning because I honestly just feel like I need the extra kick. I am normally more of a tea gal, but honestly guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's just me, but I have been finding it more difficult like the last week or so to just get out of bed in the morning. And I am an early morning person, but it's just been so dark and it's been so cold. Like it's half eight and it's still dark here. I'm normally up at like half six or seven, but the last few mornings my alarm has gone off at seven and I'm not rolling out of bed until half past at least and even at that it's been a struggle so I don't know if it's just me being extra lazy but I'm gonna blame the weather for now I'm gonna blame how dark it is outside for me needing this extra caffeine in the morning so as I mentioned I haven't like officially entered prep yet but I did start the prep training split and I've been doing the prep macros and the prep steps so technically I did start prep but like I told myself if I wanted to have a meal off plan this week or if I wanted to eat out with my friends I would do it I didn't want to be restricted from like 17 weeks out I just feel like it would be a bit extreme so I'm about to have my pre-workout meal in a minute and myself and Gary will be heading to the gym but I just wanted to give you a brief rundown on my training split and my like training protocol coming into prep so I have legs today which is very exciting and you're gonna notice in my sessions that there's more of a focus on hamstrings and glutes especially there's a little bit less quad focus and that's simply because that's more of what they look for in the category that I'm doing which is bikini to be honest guys I have quite weak quads in my own opinion like my quads aren't my strong point at all but my coach doesn't seem too worried about it because they don't really look for massive quads in bikini at all it's more your posterior chain that they look at which would be your hamstrings and your glutes over the last few months I did have a uh, quite a bit of focus on my quads simply because that's just a muscle group that I wanted to bring up but now that I'm under my coach's orders again it's going to be more hamstring and glute focus and I'm really excited about it because who doesn't want more hamstrings and glutes like we can't complain Another thing that you will notice about my sessions is that I do have delts at the end of every single leg session Which is unusual. That's something I don't normally do But I did this as well in my last prep my coach has added in like two to three sets of lateral raises of some form Whether it's a cuffed cable lateral raise whether it's a dumbbell lateral raise or a machine lateral raise He has added in some form of lateral raise at the end of every leg session because your shoulders are really really important for bikini they do look for like well-rounded shoulders and in my last prep when I look back at pictures now I don't think I noticed it at the time but my delts did come on a lot from just hitting them more frequently in my sessions so I'm excited to see how I respond this time around because I definitely do think my delts need a bit of work for the category that I'm going to be in that being said when you lose body fat and as you get leaner your delts will appear a lot bigger so I'm excited to just see how it goes over the next few weeks but there will be a big focus on my shoulders in my upper body sessions and as I said two to three sets at the end of every leg session so every single time I'm at the gym I'm going to be doing some form of shoulder exercise so when it comes to my actual training split this time around I am doing an upper lower split so it's literally upper lower rest upper lower rest repeat like two days on one day off it's a really really simple split I find I followed this split at the start of my last prep as well but then we kind of changed things up to make it more posterior chain focused whereas this time around as you are well aware at this stage I'm sure you're blue in the face from hearing about my back but my back is almost fully recovered but I'm still not in a position to have like a really posterior chain focused workout split. I need to be careful with my exercise selection and I need to make sure that I'm still targeting the areas that need to be targeted but I can't overload my lower back just yet. So that might change as we get further into my prep depending on how my back is, depending on how I'm looking. If I need to change things up slightly with my workout routine we will do that but for now and I'd imagine for the rest of prep, I'm probably gonna be doing an upper lower rest split, which is my favorite split. It's really simple, it's straight to the point, and I have a balance between my upper and lower body, which is exactly what I'm looking for. The one kind of shitty thing about my workout split at the moment is that I have no form of squat or deadlift. Only type of squat I do have is sometimes I can do a belt squat, and sometimes I can do like a seated hack squat, but I can't actually put any weight on a bar on my shoulders and squat and I can't pull off the ground so those are two movements that I do miss I'm not gonna lie I really miss 
heavy hack squatting and like heavy deadlifting and just really heavy compounds but right now and for the last few months guys I have just been working around them because it's just not practical and it's not good for my recovery so fingers crossed towards the end of prep or even in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to add those movements in again gradually start light and build it up again so one misconception that I see a lot online is now that you're cutting or now that you're bulking what have changed about your training split so I haven't changed anything about my split or my exercise selection based on cutting or bulking you don't need to change anything to do with your exercises the only thing that would really be changing about your training is your cardio when it comes to training volume like at the start when you're making that transition I really don't think that there's any need to change how much volume you're doing but like further into your cut like for me when I'm deep into prep and when my recovery isn't as good it's only at that point that you would start peeling back your volume a bit just so your body can actually recover from your training sessions but other than that when it comes to exercise selection and how many exercises you're doing per workout nothing should really change at the start but yeah guys that is my plan with training at the moment it is an upper lower split which is really similar to what I do year round anyway I haven't added in any extra cardio I've slightly increased my steps and my exercise selection is based around what they want for stage and what I can actually do at the moment with my back recovering but we have a big leg session on the carrots today so I'm gonna get my pre-workout meal into me now guys so I'm having a really simple pre-workout meal today guys I'm literally just gonna have a bowl of cornflakes I'm having a scoop of protein so this is one of ghost's newest flavors it was only sent to me this week and it's called sugar cookie and if you look inside there actually is like little pieces of flavors I'm guessing they're like little sugar cookie pieces and I'm just gonna have a fruit and grain bar as well so it's nothing special nothing crazy just something quick that digests well and digests easily okay Gary is just putting together one of his one million supplements of the day what do you have now Gar? it's my intro shake so this is highly branched cyclic extract, 50 grams of carbs worth then we have EAAs and creatine one hydrate okay so, it is. so he has 50 grams of carbs in his intro workouts yes casually just drinks 50 grams of carbs good that was up to 80 in the off season are you serious yes. Would you not prefer to eat it for like jellies or something? No. No? <laughs> okay, well anyway, we're both ready to go to the gym now. Gary is training pull. I am training legs and we're training in Max Life Fitness today. So we haven't been there in a few weeks, but they got some new machines in. And I just feel like we both like mixing it up from time to time. Change of scene is always good. It's yeah. motivating, you know? I feel like we're going to be hopping between motivated and Max Life for the rest of prep because yeah. they're both great gyms to be fair. So I will catch you there.
you guys i am very casual tonight obviously because we're just chilling in victoria's we're not actually going out to a restaurant or anything but i am very excited now and she actually invited pablo as well which is so sweet so pabs is coming on the trip with us as well tonight i am also breaking in the new docks for the first time tonight and i've heard a lot of extreme things about breaking in docks so speaking of docks guys just before we go when i got these i put them up on my story and i asked you for suggestions on how to break them in because from experience i've seen victoria trying to break in docks and it doesn't look pleasant at all and the suggestions i got were so extreme like some people were saying to get into the bath with the docks on other people suggested stuffing them with newspaper overnight someone else said like soak them in fairy washing up liquid which is just so extreme i wasn't expecting it but what i am going to do tonight i'm just going to put them on for a few hours i have like really thick socks on and i know we're not going to be doing like much walking if any to be honest so i just wanted to get a feel for them the biggest suggestion as well was to wear thick socks and bring plasters just in case Hi. Oh my God. shut up shut up it's a bit much oh. <laughs> that's a it's good one. Is it the exact same shirt? This is what tell you now, guys. We haven't seen each other in weeks and we wrap it's up been in the same. Yeah, I actually was just saying it's been like three weeks. Yeah. And I'm like, I haven't seen you in months. I know, it feels like months though. Victoria has it all set up for us and all. I have to be honest. I do both. And the seven are free. Yeah, this is Gary's one anyway. <laughs> I know, we have wine glasses out and we're literally just filling them with seven up. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good, Vicky. Pablo, you're being really oh rude under there. He's gonna eat your tree. Oh my god, no. Pat! Pablo, what are you doing? <laughs> How are we looking? Oh wow. It's very moist. Wow. It's too moist, some would say. This looks so good. Thank you so much. That looks so good, Gary. Hope I don't poison you. Gary got two steaks because he's massive. Delicious. The portions, the portions are honestly. Mm. Thanks, Vicky. Problem. Okay guys, we are back from dinner. We had such a lovely time in Victoria's and the food was amazing and we both like finished off our calories and macros for the day down there. Prawns and steak are just my go-to so I'm feeling very satisfied right now. But anyway, I'm sure you can probably notice how tired I look right now. Guys, I literally look like a dead person. By the time it gets to the end of each week, I always need like a really, really good sleep at the weekends to rejuvenate and feel ready for the week ahead. I always get like bloodshot eyes and eye bags. I have like makeup on now, so I'm not sure if they're very visible, but your gal is tired. Like I am feeling tired, but myself and Gary are gonna watch some Suicide Squad. So we started it last night. As soon as it got to the cool like fighting part, I literally conked and fell asleep and I can't remember anything. So we're gonna resume it tonight and try watch it again. I am so bad for that. Like I'll pick a movie I'll be so into it and then all of a sudden I'll just fall asleep and I can't even remember falling asleep. So it'll probably take me two or three nights to actually finish Suicide Squad because I'm just so tired by the time I do get to bed. So I am going to wrap up this video here guys. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be plenty more coming over the coming weeks, especially transitioning into prep because I'll actually have things to update you on all the time and I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.